be a great opportunity to really set the record straight, really just give you guys our story and a, a lot of backstory. We just didn't happen one day. We just didn't happen to go on the show. Um, when you read Carry On Baggage, which you can buy on Amazon.com, you will really see how all this happened. I didn't wake up one day and decide to just move to Atlanta. Like, there's a story behind that. Uh, I didn't, when I got to Atlanta, I had no idea I was going to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. There's a story behind that. So you will learn about all those things um, when you read the book, Carry On Baggage, and just about, you know, who Peter and I are as people. And what inspired you to write your first book with your husband, and what is the message you want to deliver? Okay. Um, Peter and I decided to write Carry On Baggage together because our relationship our marriage is very misunderstood you know we're on a reality team. fashion week just we just wrapped up fashion week last yes. month there's still not enough black models on the runway as a positive black woman and black model when will we crack that ceiling because i still feel like we're not and black women and black models aren't getting the credit that is due or at least the exposure okay um i've been in the business for a long long time more than 25 years. I've seen progression within the fashion industry in terms of using people of color, uh, whether it's runway, whether it's advertising, whether it's magazines, and it's been just very up and down. I still feel like we have come so far, but we have so far to go. We have nowhere, we are nowhere near uh, where we should be in terms of being properly represented in, in fashion. Um, it's 2013. You know, African Americans shop a lot. We definitely need uh, to be represented, you know, amongst these designers. You know, everybody I know, they're like, Gucci this, Gucci that. <laughs> Can we be in a Gucci ad? Like, what's up with that? What is your advice to young black models my trying to, to break into the industry? My advice to young black models trying to break into the industry is to be realistic. If you have what it takes, physically, mentally, then go for it. And when I say mentally, um, you have to realize, okay, if you are 5'10", and you have a model body, and the cheekbones of life, then that's great, but that's only half of it. You still have to know that this is a business, and you have to be business-minded, because there's a lot of beautiful women that have come to New York who didn't make it because they didn't have the business mindset to handle their business when they got here. When I look at you know, some of my mentors like Tyra and all these women who have went on to, who have exceeded way beyond um, any expectation that I thought would happen with us running around Paris and Milan together, you know, Tyra's about her business. She's an inspiration. You know, she excelled as a model and she's also a phenomenal businessman.